Hey everyone, Chris here, Northern Lights Homestead. More exciting news to share with you all. I uh, just got informed by my wife who's on her way home from a road trip back home to visit with some family that uh, we not only have some hatching eggs coming in, but uh, a couple of Nigerian dwarf goats. I'm uh, super excited. I've been wanting to get these guys for a long time now, and we finally get to add them to our stable of animals. And um, yeah, we uh, we need some lawnmowers. We're looking forward to the milk production. Uh, had to run out and didn't see trip to the feed supplement until we can get them out on the pastures. I'm still working on getting fencing and stuff done around here to make it safe for them. And yeah, stay tuned. Looking uh, forward to introducing them to everybody. And yeah, super excited. All right, I can hear coming down the drive, clamoring away. Let's go see what she's got. Woohoo! Well, everybody's happy to see Nancy home. Oh, I've been hey. long drive. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone. Uh, we um we picked up some goats yesterday, and we never really intended for this to be the pig enclosure. So we're gonna go ahead and move the pigs over into the old round pen, and let them root that up so that we can get it good and tilled and and turn it back into a round pen. Um, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get them moved from here over into the old round pen so that the goats, the baby goats, can come in here and be safe from predators and start grazing this down and sharing the space with the chickens. Hey big age, is that door, that barn door shut? Good morning. Let's keep moving. No, 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 we don't need to challenge anything. Good girl, no, come on, in there, come on. And she remembers. Come on, back in the barn. Let's go. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Shut the... <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. All right, so we had this old round pen on the property. It's not of much use to us right now with all this overgrowth. So we decided to make this the, the pig's enclosure for the summer. They're only gonna be with us another four or five months. So um, we're hoping they'll till this up like they started to do in the chicken run. They are quite efficient at rooting things up, which is exactly what we want in here because we want nothing but dirt in here. So we put their little shelter in here. We got them their water and their bath. They can stay cool. Uh, we went ahead and put an electric wire. These guys are strong and they test fences. So 
I put an electric wire around the bottom. I, I understand that they um, will learn that really quickly. So at some point, we'll only have to use the electric wire when we start moving them around the property to clean up the tree line. It's a bit uh, traumatic for them and painful for me, but we got them moved in here. And uh, yeah, my back will be a few days to recover. They've got to be weighing close to 80, 90 pounds already at that size. And they're pure muscle. Not easy to hold on to. <laughs> now I know why they have a catch the grease pig event at the fair. So they seem pretty content already. They've only been in here a few minutes and uh, yeah, they're checking it out. They've already both experienced the electric fence. Looks like the big guy's gonna try it out again. No, maybe not. <laughs> they learn pretty quick. They got everything they need in here. So this is where they'll stay and they got plenty of food and supplement and plenty of water and shelter, everything they need. Pigs are in their enclosure and now we're gonna move these sweet little girls into that outside run so that they can not be locked up in the barn like they were all night. They are super scared so we're gonna try and be gentle and quiet with them until they get used to us. And uh, yeah, they should be happy out there and then they've got their stall at night so they're nice and safe from the predators. I'm just going to try and gently push them back the other way. Hi, girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Very easy to push. Go back out to where you came. You're okay. I'm going to do this. Come on. There we go. Do a little dance. Okay, now you guys have all seen this if you've watched the previous videos. This is our future chicken run that the uh, pigs have been living in for a few days and made a mess of. So we're going to clean that up and then these little guys can spend their days in here until they get big enough to go out into the larger pastures. And yeah, so hopefully they'll clean this up. The pigs already started to root it up over there. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. guys Okay, so this is our livestock guardian dog. She's Marimar Pyrenees Cross. We've done videos with her before. Um, she's only a year old. She's been unsure when we introduce new animals. So we've been letting her meet them through the fences. She's getting quite used to the pigs already. I'm pretty sure she'll get used to these guys in no time. She's been very good with the chickens, the rabbits, the pigs, the goats. She was a little unsure about the pigs when we first brought them home. I think she was more worried about their aggression towards us than the pigs themselves. But uh, yeah, she's been really awesome. We, uh, we love her to death. She's been really good with these animals. Uh, in no time at all, she'll be out here napping outside this enclosure so she can keep an eye on these guys like she was with the pigs and the chickens. I forgot a leash for the dog here, so she's got my belt. Um, even if they've met a breed of animal before or a different species of animal, um, you still want to be careful when you're introducing them. Um, she could still be unsure about strange animals, whether it's another goat or another chicken or whatever the case may be. So we always just kind of 
keep her on a leash when she's first getting in around them. Um, she still has a tendency to want to play as a puppy. So when they run, she, uh, she has the uh, instinct to chase. So we just kind of teach her that it's okay. That's a good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, everybody settled in now. Thank you to all the people that have subscribed. We never imagined that uh, we'd reach that point of a few hundred people watching these. We uh, started off more or less making these to share with all my family and friends what we've been up to for the last uh, 10 years or so. And um, yeah, we just want to thank everybody. And uh, yeah, stay stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see more. We'll, uh, we'll keep posting videos as we uh, progress at uh, building this homestead.